the starting lineup came David Platt and Ian Wright, who were both used as substitutes in the midweek draw with Chelsea. Commentary comes from John Champion. Right. On by Mercer. Bergkamp on the chase, Staunton with him. And a throw to Arsenal. Here's Ian Wright. Merson pulling away in the middle. That's awkward for Ehiog. And did it go over the line? The referee says no. But Ian Wright knocked it in. Ehiog should have cleared it. It got an awkward bounce onto the bar, down. That is very close, but on reflection, it looks a fine decision by the referee. York. Townsend. It's all very tight in the midfield area. Southgate. Draper onto Milosevic. No flag this time. York is in the middle. Milosevic doesn't need him. And Arsenal look pleadingly towards the linesman from whom there is no response. And Sabo Milosevic scores his first goal of the season for Aston Villa. It was Draper who played it through. Milosevic was a long way beyond the line of defenders. And Lukic had very little chance. Draper. Milosevic, boosted by that goal. Milosevic! Good save by Lukic. He really packs a punch with that left foot that he so favours. Good crossfield pass to Bergkamp, who's away from Nelson. Now here's Merson, and that's just about the first time that Michael Oates has been called into action in this second half. And he proved himself more than equal to Merson's shot. Keown again at the near post. Morrow's corner, easy for the keeper. Draper. Milosevic, now Churchic. Picks up Dwight York. It's a twist round the defenders. Space is opening up. York, inadvertent save. Milosevic, 2 0. York with the early effort that Lukic perhaps should have done better with. Milosevic, easy for him. And it's 2 0 to Aston Villa. Churchic. Milosevic, back to Churchic, rides the tackle, Churchic! Lukic must feel like he's the object of target practice at the moment, because everything's heading towards him. This from Churchic needed the save. Arsenal need a goal soon if they're going to have any say in the outcome of this match. Here's Bergkamp by a line of defenders, Merson, and it's 2-1. And now there is some hope for Arsenal. It was fine play by the Dutchman Bergkamp, who waited and delivered the perfect cross for Merson's header. Linegan's forward, so's Hartson. And it's aimed towards Linnigan, and out by Alan Wright. Merson with the corner. Virtually everyone forward, on by Keown, Linnigan, and in! And twice in four days, Arsenal have come from two goals down to salvage a point. Stuart, this caretaker management lark is fairly easy, isn't it? Well, I think it's 2-0 up and other wins at the moment. Uh, we had a game against Chelsea midweek. Uh, 
we fought back and got our noses in front and 3-2 and that ended up a draw. There was about three and a half minutes played overtime there. So we scored in two minutes overtime here today. So it just shows we've got this Arsenal grit and determination. We're never, we're never beaten until it's over. So long may it continue. There were quite a few protests after the whistle and a couple of your players were booked. What was the basis for those protests to the referee? Well, we just wondered why he played perhaps so much uh, time added on. I think it was something like five minutes second half. Um, I think that was the main, the main reason, you know, because you've seen the crowd were whistling for, for about a quarter of an hour. And, uh, you know, he just kept playing and, uh, as I say, it's always disappointing. I think it's just frustration as much as anything else, you know, that's the way you feel after a, a game like that. Well, frustration uh, for Aston Villa, but they really let it slip, didn't they? Falling for the old Arsenal corner routine. The old Arsenal play, eh? Bold and Adams, but this time it was Keown and Linnigan, but defended badly. You've got to have a man in front there. They've got Southgate and Taylor behind. You've got to have one in front if you want to defend this. Good flick on. Linnigan brave enough. That's in the back of the net. I think Stuart Houston's done a great job there. You know, that's twice Arsenal have come back from 2-0 down. Great spirit within the club. I think they should give him the job.